Hello. Looks like the weekend's not looking bad at all. It's just around the corner, a lot of dry weather on the way. How about Friday? It is going to be quite cloudy, particularly across northern and western parts of the country. Best of the sunshine in the southeast of the UK. Good morning, both morning as well, Friday at last, and not a bad day for many of you, a lot of dry weather to come to the south and east today, but if you're stepping out the north and west, you may want something uh, slightly waterproof, there will be some patchy rain, nothing desperately heavy for most of you, but quite breezy once again, especially across parts of uh, Scotland. I think it's good weather for football this weekend, and outdoor sports, mm. outdoor happenings, and Matt's going to tell us more. Um, it, it is still cold, but then again, it is still winter, so that's the way <laughs> of the world. Morning, Matt. Morning. Like, actually, it won't be as cold this weekend. I know Jill looked uh, pretty chilly there, didn't she? But uh, not quite as cold as it has been. Temperatures on the rise. And after a fair few sunny days, particularly across England and Wales, what we'll do, and that starts today, a bit more clouds starting to push in. I'm going to bring you something of beauty. Nature. This is the sky over London. Um, and it looks to be delivering everything that Matt Taylor said it would deliver over the next few days. We've had some amazing sunrises and sunsets across the country this last week. Matt, morning. I don't know if it's just when it's colder they look more spectacular. Or is that just me? No, I think because we've had some uh, really clear air as well. It just lets those colours pop a little bit more, as it does this morning on the coast in West Sussex. Very good morning to a weather watch is already out in force. But where you've got the sunshine, it is particularly cold this morning. Be prepared. Another sharp frost across southern areas. Temperatures low as minus six at the moment. However, good 17 degrees milder for some in the northwest of Scotland. And it's the mild air which is slowly but surely winning its way out. I mean, Matt's just dreading how we're going to now bring him yeah. into this conversation. Aren't you, yeah. Matthew? And I always. <laughs> <laughs> Got one to mind? Uh, I suppose it has to be quite aptly named She Bangs the Drums, Stone Roses. Yeah. How about that one? Good song. Yeah. Good song. Good one for me. Um, how are you going to segue into the weather then from that? I can't. Anyway, <laughs> weather. <laughs> Brain went blank there. Good morning. Hope you're well. Quick look. Frosty uh, fields there behind me in uh, Somerset at the moment. Uh, it's temperatures down to around minus four, minus five right now in the southern parts of the UK. A chilly but bright start here. Of course, one of the biggest issues is there in Syria and Turkey are the freezing temperatures that people are cop coping with. So we're reporting about thermal blankets being taken out and more food and equipment. Well, Matt's taking a look at the weather for us here in the UK, of course, but it is worth t nodding to what kind of temperatures um, those who are struggling from the earthquake are living with at this moment in time. Yes, especially without a home, of course, you're having to brave temperatures like this. This sort of uh, forecast for the next seven days by night in uh, southern Turkey. Temperatures staying well below freezing each night, and if anything, later next week it could get colder still. There is a little bit of positivity in that it should stay dry across southern Turkey throughout this next week, but for those in Syria, there is the chance of some further showers at times, particularly Saturday and Wednesday. Very, very difficult uh, weather conditions to deal with that because he's such an environmental activist, he might want to do something. James Cameron, thank you very much for speaking to us. Yeah, it was good talking to you. Thanks very much. Oh, I'm watching, so I'm watching Matt watching that. Yeah, Did quite, he do the arms? Quite taken. Were you, were you in the moment? Were you back in the Titanic <laughs> moment, Matt? <laughs> I never went to see it, if I'm honest. Have you never <laughs> seen it? I saw it actually for the first time over Christmas. My daughters absolutely love it, love it so much, they're off to watch it in the cinema in 3D this weekend. Oh, oh well, there, you there you go. Good for you. Well, at least you've seen yeah, good, it now. Good for them. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, I'm not very very them. diplomatically anyway. put, Matthew. Um, beautiful, uh, I think it's sunrise behind you, but typical of what is. we've been seeing the last week, lots of frost on the ground, really icy starts. It is, but not for everyone. This is across the southern half of the UK, Naga. Thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, this is from our weather watcher, Sada. Minus four degrees uh, across some southern areas right now. Lovely starts. Increasing amounts of cloud, though, but let's just uh, cast our eyes a bit further north. Another weather watcher just outside Stirling. Six degrees, but it's grey and it's drizzling at the moment. There is a lot more in the way of cloud spreading across the UK today, and it is going to bring a bit of damp weather to you. Should have brought this up with Matt, really, because he'd be able to explain all the kind of science behind it. But I've seen this picture in a lot of papers today. This is the biggest one. It's in the Express. 
and this is London. Um, but they literally just look like they're floating these, you know, that's the centre of London, the city of London, floating in the clouds. And this is being taken, we should give credit to Richard Clark of Godalming in Surrey. He saw them as he flew in from New York and it's a um, canary wall from the city and covered in mist. But obviously it did give way to sunshine. It's an extraordinary image though, isn't it? It's like oh. the clouds literally sitting amongst the buildings. Yes. And they, like cotton wool or something yeah. surrounding the, the uh, tall buildings. Um,